Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my Amsterdam houseboat tutorial. This is a pretty easy build to do, to be honest. You can live in it. You can have two people in here. We got two beds, a very nice interior, and a really cool exterior. So you can come up here on the roof to a little rooftop garden and chill out with your friends, talk about the block game, because working when you're working the block game, things like this are very easy. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Alright, so for your Amsterdam houseboat, you're going to need to be two blocks away from any block of water, so, well, body of water, I guess block, because Minecraft, I get it. Anyways, uh, I built a little square ocean and world edit here, but uh, this is not how it's going to be in the real Minecraft world, but basically, you just build this thing out of stone, this wool is here just for your reference only. So just go ahead and make this thing right here, if you really need the measurements, it is 13 long, and uh, by 7 wide, so you can pause the video right here and just do this on stone. And this is just one block deep in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all these. I'm going to assume that you paused the video and made that. If you didn't, well, you might want to do that. But uh, basically, the first step is to go ahead and build this up. As you can see, one, two, three higher than the rest of the build. So just take this. And this is the cyan wool and orange wool, if you guys are confused on the colors. You can do whatever you want, really. You can make it your own. Uh, it's not really super, super important to use any specific type of wool. Right there, we're going to leave that open. That's going to be where the entrance of the build is. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's in the middle real quick. No, it is not. So let's build that one over and build that. Perfect. Then you basically just build this wool up three around on the entire thing. Not too, too hard. Not too, too easy. Ha, <laughs> too, too. <laughs> I'm such a child. Anyways, uh, I'm just going around doing all this. Doesn't take too long at all, really. And then you're going to want to take some stone brick. Not stone brick. Some stone slabs. So like these right here, and then just build this all the way around. Again, I, it's a houseboat, so it doesn't really move. It's just kind of in the water. And uh, someone requested I do an Amsterdam one. I'm sorry, I don't really remember your name from the comment, but someone requested that I do one of these, and I was like, okay. So I looked it up, and they actually looked really, really cool. This is based off of one I'm, I saw on Google Images. Um, I don't remember the exact one it was, but uh, it was pretty cool, I'd say. So basically the first window is going to be on this side, it's just going to be in the middle. We're going to go ahead and repeat that same thing over here. And then uh, you just take some uh, iron bars and you just put them like that. And then you repeat that and mirror it on this side. And what's cool about Amsterdam houseboats, I did a little bit of research, they usually have gardens on top, like full on freaking gardens, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, uh, next step is basically just build your stairs over like this. Uh, right there is going to be an upside down one for your door. And then the other one's going to be the ladder to get to the top of your little garden area. So just, again, build these all the way around. And I'll teach you how to do the front in a second here. Now, all you do is you just take some grass. Uh, let's just take this right here. Oh, that wasn't grass. I grabbed the wrong block. Grass. And then you just fill up the entire top. And I'll explain how to, like, sort of cover up the dirt from the inside in a minute. Because it looks really weird if you just have dirt, you know, as your roof. But... You can always solve that issue with a little bit of WD-40. Uh, not really, you actually have to put something below the grass. Alright, so now let's take our orange wool. Uh, it's going to be one from the inside, and you see it goes one, two, three, four, five long. So one from the inside, like this. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then you just build it up. And then you make a little bit of a, I don't really know how to describe it, just a, a rectangular shape. And then you fill that in with your glass panes. And then on either side, you just do the same thing here. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. So one from the inside. One, two, three, four, five. So there's going to be a little one block space in the middle. Actually, there should be a two block space in the middle. So I'm really kind of confused right now. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three, four, five. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm really confused right now, actually. I'm very confused right now. I think I may have built this entire thing wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, I didn't, I didn't do it wrong. I think I'm just really confused. This is really late at night. I think it's like 12 in the morning for me. Uh, I think I just really, really, really am confused. This is supposed to be 1 from the inside. And then 5 at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anyways, we'll just go along with it and we'll figure it out. It's not a huge deal. This isn't the exact right size. It really doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, break out this this inside part right here, and you can see one of these windows is going to have a little space in between because that's where we do the bedroom area. We sort of divide it off right there. Then we're going to take some blue wool like this, and you can go ahead and just break that down, and then just build it up, and then do a stair. Uh, well, well, we'll do a stone brick slab on top. Uh, where's the slabs at? Oh no. Oh, I put ST. Aren't I smart? Sorry. 
I know I keep messing around. I'm just really confused. Hold on. I'm going to come back when I figure out what I did wrong here. All right, so I figured it out. On the sign, I wrote 13, but this one's a, this one is actually 14. It's not a huge deal, honestly. It really isn't, which means there's never going to be a center on this. But, hey, it's it's really not a huge deal. It's, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, so we're going to do a window right here. So we'll do the same sort of thing and break this out. Take the... Oh, take this, put this in here, and then break the middle block, do a window. And then uh, one of these is going to have to be the ladder. So what you do is just build up this wool. You take your ladders, and you're going to want to put those on this side right here. Then you're going to take some logs from under, and uh, you're going to want to do something like that, and just sort of build those up. Uh, hold on for a second here. You build those under, and then you can put some stairs or whatever if you want to make it look fancy. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but you can do whatever you want. Then I'm going to take some, uh, some stairs that are the right material, so we'll just do some spruce wood here. Then we'll take a brick. There's actually a lot of uh, brick buildings in Amsterdam. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, you take that, and then you do the same sort of uh, slab that you did for the walkway. So this is the spruce wood slab. Place those on top of there. You have everything done, pretty much. Take your door, place it from the inside, and boom, you have that done. So now let's go ahead and take this orange wool, and let's make another little window here. So this one will be a little bit longer. And you just break this out and make an outline and place the panes in the middle. There we go. Perfect. And then you're going to want to take these things and basically on the sides of your windows, you just do this shape. Uh, it's not going to be even. I actually think it looks a little bit better that it's 13 long. I'm sorry that I got confused in the middle of the video. It's very unprofessional of me. But hey, you know, we all make mistakes. It's not something that really can be changed. Pretty much human nature. But basically on these blocks right here... Uh, uh, break the stair that's under them or not the stair the slab of oh my gosh I cannot talk the grass block and then just put a s little uh, stone brick slab and uh, I'll explain that in a minute basically all you do is you take one glowstone and uh, you put it right there put it right there and then do the same then you take a trap door and you put it right there and you're gonna want to take your stone brick now and you take your stone brick uh, slabs and basically, you just fill up this entire ceiling in here with stone brick slabs, and this is going to be your ceiling. And you see, that just gives a little bit of lighting. There's going to be lighting from torches in other areas of the build, but that's just sort of one that I've done. I'm actually going to have to completely redo this interior, because it was built based on being 14 long when I thought it was 13. But that won't really be an issue. Anyways, I'm going to make sure the out outside of the build is done. Uh, no, it's not. We forgot to do that little area up here. Let me just clear out my inventory. So we're going to take this, 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 this. I think that's everything. Basically, I just did a little bit of a, a little log, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, a chair sitting area thing, I don't know, but uh, just take some trap doors, and uh, you can make some cool little chair things, uh, totally not practical in any sense, but they look cool, so there's always that, and then we're going to take these, we're going to do some uh, torches so we can see on top of the build, and then I take some bone meal and just do some random plants up here, some miscellaneous plants. You know what they grow in Amsterdam. If you're not old enough to understand what I'm saying, that's okay, but they're growing a lot of cool plants up there. Anyways, we're going to take some blue orchids. Uh, we're going to do one right there, one right there, and one right there. Then we can take some of these larger flowers like this and the uh, rose bush and the uh, peony, or I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of that, but it's okay. All right, perfect. So now we have some plants up here. It looks really, really nice. Now I'm going to grab those interior materials and come right back. All right, so I've grabbed a couple of the materials. Uh, the beds are going to be over here in the corner. I know that for a fact. And we, I know that I need to divide this area off. Uh, it's going to be like a little too long thing. I don't really know. You can do whatever sort of pattern there you want to do. Uh, it's not super important, but I'm just going to do something cool like that. I think that looks pretty interesting. Then over here in the corner, we're going to have an ender chest. And then we're going to take some sl uh, some slabs that are the same spruce uh, block that we did right here. And this is just gonna sort of divide off this area into the bedroom. So you don't have to do this, but I think it looks kind of nice for aesthetic purposes. Nothing in this build is really super like useful, but basically we're gonna do a checkerboard pattern with some gray carpet and white carpet. Again, you can change this up to be whatever you really want it to be. It's not super important. But, uh, you know, I mean, that, that's what's cool about my builds is really you can exchange materials out for whatever. You can do different colored wools for the build. You could do really whatever you want. Whatever fits your needs. You don't even have to do the carpet. You could just leave it as stone. But I think it sort of fits the whole theme of everything. So right here in the corner, I'm just going to do two chests. One right there. And then we're going to take a trap chest. If you don't have that, then don't do it. Do something else. But I have this trap chest thing that can fit uh, in that sort of area. Over here, I'm going to do a little bit of a table. So I'm going to break those out. I'm going to take some slabs. 
and then I'm gonna place those right here in one second I'll be right back all right uh, now I'm gonna grab some pots here and we're gonna place those along the wall and we're gonna fill those with whatever plants you want so let's do a cactus a mushroom an azure blue it or however you say that a blue orchid a allium and a poppy should be enough plants, I think. Actually, more than I need, so I'll just pick my favorites. Perfect. Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't like the cactus right there. It doesn't really fit this build too well. So let's go ahead and do that and put an allium. That looks beautiful. All right, cool. So now that we have that done, we're gonna take some paintings. So let's grab those. Oh, oh, I typed too much. And then let's put a one by two painting right there, and a same sort of shape there. One. Oh, I had a perfect one. The sunset. That was pretty well. Okay, no, we're not gonna do two of the same painting. I don't like that one. Come on, please get... Oh, okay, whatever. That one sort of fits it. Anyways, so let's take some bookcases and let's place those uh, right here just to sort of further divide... Well, no, 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 my bad. Place it right there to further divide off the area. And I sort of broke a little bit of something right there. Let's take this gray block and let's take some carpet that's another color. Let's do... Let's do red carpet for the bedroom area. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. All right, and uh, up here, you can take a crafting table. I figured this out. If you put crafting tables in the ceiling, they actually look pretty cool. Like, that, that to me looks pretty interesting. And you could take a trap door and uh, put it under there. I don't know, I think that looks interesting. Anyways, we're gonna do some furnaces uh, right here. Uh, we'll do one, two, three. So we'll do three furnaces. Then we're gonna take some stairs. Uh, we can do whatever material really we want. Uh, I'm gonna take stone bricks since it's sort of the same thing. And basically what you do is you place them uh, facing interior like that and you make sort of a thing that looks like it's sucking up whatever it's cooking. Not really important. But uh, again, the inside of this build can be exchanged for whatever materials really you wanna do. For example, I'm not really liking how that looks, so I'm just gonna do that and just have two little furnaces. You know what? I, I, I don't like how that looks. So let's just do one furnace and then just have one block coming down like that. Perfect. See, if you don't like something, you can always just change it. That's just interesting. Uh, we are going to need something there, uh, some sort of dividing thing, because it's going to look a little bit weird. Actually, let's take the same sort of thing we did from the outside, and let's put it on the inside. There we go. Um, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks decent. Okay, on this side of the bookcases, we're going to take some trap doors. We're just going to place those on the entire wall here. That'll look a little bit better than it does now. Actually, maybe not on the bottom block because that's going to block out the, uh, uh, the carpet. But, uh, yeah, we're going to need some more crafting tables because we only have one crafting table this entire build. So we'll just do one in the corner. We already have the ender chest. Uh, we don't have any brewing stands, so we'll take some uh, time to put two of those brewing stands down. Uh, I'm sure you can find a place for an anvil even. So let's take an anvil and let's find an area. We can just put it right there. Why not? But, uh, yeah, as far as lighting goes, you can just do torches wherever you can throw one down here and there. Uh, lighting isn't super important because we do have a, uh, some glowstone lighting right there. But you may need to find area for another glowstone uh, lamp or whatever. And you can really do that wherever you want. But anyways, if you guys like this tutorial, please leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> just a second there. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I like that. That looks better. Uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more tutorials like this and much, 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 much more, look at that. Look at that cow. That's an interesting cow. Anyways, uh, this is a really, really, really cool build. I actually really like this one. I'm pretty proud of it. So, uh, can we get a thousand likes on this video? I think that'd be super, super awesome. So, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. And while you're down there, leave me an idea for what you want to see me to build next in the tutorials. i really love to hear you guys' ideas. This was straight from a user comment suggestion. He said, I want to see an Amsterdam houseboat. I think he put it on two videos, so he's pretty persistent. So, I'm like, hey, if this guy's telling me to do it that bad, it must be pretty cool. So, I checked it out. It was actually really, really cool. So, thank Thank you again for whoever gave me that idea post a comment down there get some credit to yourself but anyways yeah thank you so much for watching link to my twitter is also in the description below if you guys want to send me pictures of any of the builds you build for my channel and much more i'll like them and retweet them but yeah if you're new to the channel again just subscribe and you'll get notified when i upload but yeah thousand likes let's try to do it anyways thank you guys so so much for watching i will see you guys at the next tutorial all right bye